Hi fellow Django developers, Ezekiah here from AlwaysDjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone you feel will find this video interesting. Let's get into it. So today we are going to discuss how to create download links in Django. Like always, we have an article here on AlwaysDjango.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Let's get into it. So. To create a download link in Django, we use we can use two methods, right? We can use the file well, the file response method, or we can use the HTTP response method with a little bit of configuration, right? Now, what we are going to discuss in this tutorial is creating a download link in Django using the file response method, right? For you to get for you to understand how to create it using the um, HTTP response method. I'll leave a link to the article to this um to this article here. You can come here and read it up, right? It's as simple as anything with a little bit of a little bit of configuration. You can even come here and copy the code and change what you have to change and what have you. So, but today we are going to discuss how to create a download link in Django using the file response method, right? If you want to get to know how to create a download link in Django also using the HTTP response, you come to this article. Which I'll leave a link to it in the description. You read it up, you try it, you test, you copy the code, and do whatever you want, right? So, already we have an we have a simple project here. In this project, what we have already is in our settings of py file. I added this um, static files directory to the, to this download folder. In this download folder, we have a simple image of a flower, flower.jpg. That's the name of the image. So here is the flower looking beautiful so that's we created a static file here to this image that's so that we can use we can use this static file here we can render it out here as an image in the html image tag then here is our download button you can see it's a simple um anchor tag which the that links to the download link so for our download if you go to our urls we have this index we have this index file index view which is used to render this index that's the root rendering of our application then we have this download this download which is what we are linking here in our HTML in this anchor tag there's this download that we are linking here so in our HTML if we go to this our views the py file this is the index index um view the index view simply renders out the index the HTML file which is this index the HTML file while the download link we have nothing in it now it's just a pass right so we have nothing in it it's just the python pass keyword we have nothing in it already so if we go to our browser we reload this is what we have this is the image this is the image the flower image you can see it has a little bit of style with with um height of 10 uh, em um, width of 10 em border radius of 50 percent just to make it circular and alt alt keyword right so to create a download link in django and our views and our video using the file the file response we we'll start from we we'll go from to django from django dot http we import the file response you can also import the http response here this is also where we get the http response but for today we need only the file response so we import the file response we also need the django.config import settings we'll get to know what to use that for then we need the python os the operating system module in django so to create a, a download link first first thing we have to do is first step is we open the file that's the first step we get a link to the file first we open the file then we return the file as a response as a file response right so let's get a reference to the file so to get a reference to the file we just have to like get a link a directly link to the file from our application so let's say file is equal to os.path.join this os os module in django uh, this join function in the os parts module is used to join two parts and jam and python by the way and python right so if you have two parts you have maybe a part to this template 
and you join you can join the index.html file to get the path to this index.html file right so to get to this to this um to this um flower.jpg we need a path to our base directory in django we have the base directory the base directory which is this which we have in our settings.py file the base directory right this is the root directory of our application then from there we have to join the download directory then the the flower.jpg file right so while we imported while we imported this settings this um django.conf settings is because we want to reference we want to use we we'll use a variable in the settings.py file for application and here is the, the variable we want to use this variable is a link this is django a django thing is a link a directly link that resolves to our application root directory that's the root directory of this application that's right here in this directory this directory of our application right so that's what i'm trying to say is that this directory this is our this is our application here this is our application here so this base this base directory right here is a link it gives us a link to this direct so it will give us this link right here it will give us this this link right here this is the link it will give us right this is the link it will give us a link a link to our application a directly link to our application right this is the right thing to leave us depending on where your application is stored this base underscore dir directly will give the directly link to your application right so with that resolved <coughs> with that out of the way so why we imported like i said before we imported this settings that people file is because we have we want to use this right so it's imported then we want to join this base directory to download we want to get a reference to this download so we have to join this base directory sorry settings dot base directory that that's this setting this setting with this setting we are in this file we are in this settings of pure file then we need the base directory right here so base directory um then we want to join it with um want to join it with then download not to the capitals download then flower dot jpg right so this now this right here gives us a link to this file we have here this download this flower dot jpg that's what we just did here we just got a reference directly reference to this file right here right so to open the file to open the file we use the python open file let's say file open is equal to open the python open method open file then we use the rub opening opening um, argument so this rub gives us a, a an admin admin authority to this file so without the admin authority we cannot download this file because it's only the admin uh, uh, like it's only when we open this file with an admin authority that we can be able to download this file. if you use maybe something like w which stand for write or maybe r which stand for read you will not get the reference to this file so rub is what we use here so right here we have opened the file what's the next step we have to return return this file file response right this file response they will pass this file open file right so with this right now we have created out what we are just trying to do here is we got a link a direct link a reference to our file we open that file after opening the file we returned it as a response our server is down now so let me start it again <clears throat> let me start it again so if you go back here this download function is what we are using this download function view function is what we are using here for this download url so here this is what we are using then the name of the url part is download and now in, in our index the html file this download this anchor tag is leading to that download this download url this download url right now so if you click this anchor tag we are running this function on this basic django django um django behavior right so we are trying to when we click that anchor tag we are running this function so let's go back let's refresh let's click 
so as you can see now we are just returning that file right but we are not downloading it now to be able to download this file you go to your html file go to your html file the anchor tag has has an attribute called download now to this download this this informs this tells html that this link is a download link and what we pass here the jpg what we pass here will be the name the file will be downloaded as so let's go back let's reload let's click here you can see our download started right so without this download attribute with the name of the file with the name of the file we want to download in this case the name of the file is flower.jpg with the extension with the right extension right so what you are telling html is that hey this URL will return a file response that file response is what we saved from this view now if you get that file response don't redirect to it just download it and use this name to download it right so without this download attribute here it just redirects to that file and receives that file response and renders out the file to us right so this is it guys this is how you create your a download link in django this is how you create a download a downloadable a link with a downloadable file if i can say it like that you simply get a reference to the file you open the file then you return the file as a file response right this simply it right so this is how you create a file response with the django file response module you can also do it with the http response to get to learn about that i'll leave a link in the article and i'll leave a link to this article pardon my words pardon my english i'll leave a link to this article in the description you can come there click on it read it up try it do whatever i want to do that is it with me guys so thanks for staying in tune if you watched if you have watched to this point i'm saying kudos smash that like button subscribe turn up the notification when we release new updates and also share this video with anyone if you have a question if you have a question leave it in the comment and i promise i'll get back to it and answer you so thank you guys i see you later peace